Okay, I'd like to call the Site Plan Review Committee to order for Tuesday, December 6th. Roll call, please, Terry. Mary Kodowski? Here. Dennis Persick? Here. Gary Paul? Here. Yep. Chris Atkinson? Here. Andy Kurowski? Here. Gail Quinn? Here. And Tamperin's excused. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Please remember our men and women throughout the world in uniform. I have no changes to the agenda. I need a motion to approve. Motion, second. Motion and a second to approve the agenda as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Number five, action on the site plan review minutes from the regular meeting of November 15, 2022. Motion to approve. Second. Motion and a second to approve those minutes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <coughs> Number six, review plans for the following locations. 6A, action regarding requested resubmitted site plan review for Bell and Health, parcel VA-147-5, 1630 Comanche Avenue, site redesign. Aaron. All right, let me share my screen here and I'll bring up the uh, site plan for the project. Uh, so as discussed, uh, this is a proposed uh, relatively minor exterior site redesign for the Bell and Health Comanche Clinic. Um, interior uh, remodel is significant, uh, so don't let the uh, exteriors uh, surprise you. Uh, in terms of the site itself, uh, previously we did uh, approve the parking lot uh, expansion uh, for Bell and Health Comanche. The resubmittal uh, here is for uh, primarily uh, the addition of these two overhead doors for basically a drive-through uh, service in the area where the uh, the gym area used to be or the fitness center used to be. Go back to the site. Uh, that is right here. You can see the drive-through uh, area for drive-through testing, drive-through uh, vaccination, so on and so forth. Uh, other than that, the only uh, primary addition is the addition of a small uh, vestibule uh, right here and some small landscaping islands to, uh, to channel traffic. Uh, in terms of uh, recommended conditions of approval, uh, just a couple of them. Uh, meet all applicable requirements of the Ashwaubenon on site plan review, 17-2-200, all their applicable village ordinances. Uh, and then from public safety, uh, note on a plan that a hydrant will be relocated northeast corner of the building. Uh, coordinate with the public safety department on the witnessing of a hydrostatic test of the relocated hydrant. And please ensure fire lanes are properly marked after resurfacing and uh, coordinate, coordinate that with public safety. Uh, forestry uh, did mention no landscaping plan provided, however, very minimal disruption to the existing landscaping. So no, no additional forestry requirements at all. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Otherwise, representatives of the applicant are also available uh, in the audience. Does anybody have any questions, comments, concerns? Aaron, the only question I have uh, here, uh, I know it might sound kind of stupid, but I'll ask it anyway. Um, there was bike racks mentioned around that building in the past. Any reason to have one at this particular place saying it's all automotive driven? So the uh, last time there was uh, understanding that there were existing bike racks, I believe on the east side of the building. By the, the main entrance there? Right. Is correct? Yes. Correct. Um, so that was sufficient uh, previously. And, and that, that was it. Okay. It was brought up in the past. The only reason I'm bringing it up. Okay. That's all I need to know. I'll make a motion to approve as presented. Second. With, okay. I'm going to ask with staff conditions. Yes. Right. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve with staff conditions. Any other comments? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Okay, 6B, action regarding requested site plan review for the bar concession stand, 732 Mike McCarthy Way, parcel VA-54-10. Aaron. All right, uh, this is a... Uh, a solution <laughs> to uh, an issue that, that came about uh, when, if those of you remember, the old Bertrand Hydraulic Building on Mike McCarthy Way uh, was was raised. Uh, the bar 
uh, which actually is located in Green Bay, their liquor license or beer license for purposes of uh, serving during Packer game days uh, under the tents was tied to that location for purposes of state law. Uh, under state law, a liquor license can be awarded, but it has to be awarded to a location that has the ability to basically secure the receipts and uh, any beverages. Uh, so short of the building being there uh, any longer, uh, this proposed concession stand will serve as that necessary requirement uh, under state law for holding of the, uh, the beer license uh, for Packer Game Days, again, for the tent area uh, for the bar. So the building itself is uh, not meant to be a long-term solution. Uh, this property is proposed for uh, redevelopment currently with the, uh, uh, the Coachway condominiums. Uh, if that, for some reason, doesn't happen, uh, then we, uh, there are, will be other options for redevelopment on the property. So again, this is a, I'll say temporary solution. Uh, we've dealt with those in the past, understanding they aren't always temporary, as I've been told many times by Gary. Um, but uh, in this case, uh, I believe this is a good solution to the issue that came about by cleaning up the old Bertrand project or development. And in terms of, of uh, materials, uh, or I'll back up a little bit. The project location you can see right here, this is the existing bar building. It'll be located here in this parking lot, uh, be to the east of the building a little bit near the dumpster recyclables uh, that are currently there. The building itself, uh, fairly simple construction. Um, if you tilt your head, um, it's your rather standard uh, concession stand. You have a serving win uh, ADA accessible serving window. Uh, it will have an overhead garage door on one side for purposes of loading and unloading. And it will have coolers uh, for drinks. It will not have any uh, plumbing fixtures to avoid any issues with um, county health department or things like that. So we'll have electrical but no plumbing. So we're serving basically canned goods uh, out of the coolers. Uh, just a couple other uh, examples, uh, the small overhang. The extra materials are a uh, like LP smart side type material, board and batten, uh, which does meet our uh, exterior site plan requirements. Um, gives you an idea of what that will look like with the, uh, the pitched roof roll-up door, and then this is the overhead site plan uh, for the, the concession stand. Uh, in terms of uh, recommended conditions of approval, uh, there was one identified on your uh, staff report uh, regarding a 20-foot separation distance uh, from tents. Um, I am working with public safety on that issue. Uh, I believe that actually may not be necessary uh, under fire code. Uh, regardless, if it is required, um, I've spoken with the owner, ownership group, and you know they certainly will meet it. If it's not required, uh, then we won't require it. Um, but really, it's, we just need to do a little more research on that, get confirmation from public safety that that 20 foot setback is indeed not required. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Otherwise, uh, Jeff Miller representing the bar is also in the audience. Uh, Aaron, this is a permanent type of a building. It's not something that's set in there. That's correct. It will be anchored to a concrete slab. It will be a, a anchored as, as a regular building. And the only other question I have, <clears throat> only canned beverages will be served out of there through the service window, and that's all the building will be used for. That's correct. The uh, information uh, siding is on this picture, I believe? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. And Jeff, I imagine they'll treat it just like the bar itself and they'll check IDs, correct? And Jeff, yes. to answer that, can you just pop up here? And I mean, for purpose of the microphone, anyone online? Yeah, we would certainly, like would, yeah. In the bar. I mean, if, if there was any reason, yeah, absolutely. For, for people that don't know if, you know, if they're not familiar with our liquor licensing laws that are actually handed down from the state, um, the bar, technically sits in Green Bay, so their liquor license is with Green Bay. So on the tents that they have on their property that's in Ashwaubenon, they have a beer license, so they can only serve beer out of there, and that's why we cannot license a tent either to just serve beer, so they have to have a safe, uh, secure place for their receipts and everything like that, so that's why they have to, have to put this up. 
All right, there's no other questions. I'll move to approve the project as presented. I second. was just going to ask. Oh, okay, just I, let me get a second. Yep, Andy second it. Okay, now ask. There'll be a set of drawings on this and then looked at by our building department, right? Absolutely. Wonderful. Yeah. That's the only question I had. I just see some things I was curious of, but with a set of drawings, that'll be addressed. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. We had a motion and a second. Any other comments? Mm -hmm. um, should we add? Should we have the motion and the second add staff conditions? Yeah, add the staff condition, uh, yes. recognizing that it may or may not be applicable following additional research. The 20 foot separation. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Thank you. Thanks, Jess. See you. All right, sounds good. Okay, 6C, action regarding requested site plan review for merge urban development, the commonplace building number two at 676 Mike McCarthy Way, parcels VA-55 and VA-55A. Aaron. All right, uh, this is a proposed second building for merge urban development on Mike McCarthy Way. Uh, this would be basically the commonplace phase two. Uh, this is proposed to be a uh, basic basically first floor commercial uh, restaurant type building and upper floors uh, residential. There's some residential on the first floor as well. Um, as you can see from the overhead site plan, uh, this is uh, phase one with Odyssey Climbing Gym right here. Uh, phase two uh, is right here. Uh, it does have a unique setback right here. This is the common green area. There is a formal walkway uh, between the two buildings. They'll continue north and eventually to the uh, Legends District in Green Bay as that uh, develops in the future. A couple other renderings we'll show here. Uh, this is demonstrates some of the landscaping uh, and parking for the project. Uh, floor plates, this is the first floor uh, restaurant, uh, commercial uses. Uh, residential, and then uh, basically your back office uh, ancillary lobby type uses uh, here. And there are five stories of uh, apartments above that. Uh, exterior elevation, uh, you can see here it does exceed 50 feet in height, so it is required to get authorization from the airport uh, on that, but it is the same, basically the same height as phase one, so there shouldn't be any issues there. Materials are a little bit different than phase one. Uh, there's more use of uh, architectural metal panels. Uh, there's still some masonry. Uh, in terms of the first floor architectural metal panels, uh, we do require the three foot of masonry wainscot uh, on there. Uh, so that has been noted as a staff condition. This is the view from Holmgren Way. Uh, as you can see here, uh, balconies uh, with the unique uh, kind of dip in the facade. Uh, here again, also from Holmgren Way, this would be the western corner uh, with the proposed restaurant use and then the commercial uses uh, right here. Again, just another look at that from that uh, common green space area. This is on the back side of the building, uh, demonstrating uh, the, call it a walkway promenade between the two buildings that would continue north uh, to the Legends District in Green Bay. Uh, in terms of the some of the site plan uh, materials, uh, I mentioned the proposed height, proposed height does exceed uh, 50 feet, actually is 69 feet, again similar to phase two or phase one. It is with certainly within the village's 120 foot height restriction in this area, so no problems there. Um, total 2,904 square foot of restaurant space, 2,446 square feet of uh, commercial space. Uh, total of 80, uh, sorry, 84, 91 uh, total units uh, of apartment units in this uh, development. Uh, we've had, had discussions uh, regarding parking in the site with the developer. Uh, I guess we're having some kind of ongoing, kind of fine tuning that a little bit, trying to figure out the best uh, options for parking on this site it is rather limited. Uh, so we have ongoing discussions. I did hand out a parking strategy uh, as put together by the developer uh, just last week. It identifies how they will address kind of their typical day as well as those uh, high use days. 
such as Packard game days or events at the Odyssey Climbing and Fitness Gym. Uh, in terms of recommended staff conditions, uh, we do have a list uh, of them. Uh, I did mention the uh, airport zoning district C uh, needs the, uh, the height permit from the airport. Uh, use of fully concealed fastener for new metal panels on street, on, that should be all elevations. I'm sorry, not street facing, that's all elevations. Apologize for that typo. Uh, I mentioned the three foot masonry wainscot from finished elevation uh, for the first floor. Uh, screen any new rooftop or ground motion mechanical units visible from the property boundaries or public right of way. It's the middle of a parking plan that addresses how average and peak parking demands for phases one and two will be accommodated. That was the additional handout uh, that I provided at the beginning of the meeting. Uh, we are still fine tuning that. Extension of the pedestrian way to the north through the parking lot to the future Green Bay Legends District uh, and Tony Canadeo run. A combination certified survey map will need to be prepared and recorded to remove the property line between parcels BA55 and BA55-A. Uh, and then of course the catch-all meet all applicable requirements of this Robin on site plan review and all other village ordinances. From engineering, um, review as-built drawings to try to utilize existing sanitary, water, and storm sewer laterals. Uh, those were put in as part of the Mike McCarthy Way reconstruction a few years back. And for a lot of these conditions, I, I should mention that we have, uh, since the middle of the uh, recommended conditions, we have been in contact with the applicant, uh, their engineering team, their design team, and they're already in the process of addressing uh, pretty much all of these conditions of approval. Uh, again, from stormwater management, uh, submit final stormwater plan of underground storage calcs and sizing details for review. Uh, Buy-in of the Ashland Pond to meet water quality requirements is $11,300 per impervious acre. Include anticipated costs in the updated storm plan. From public safety, please contact public safety during construction to verify the location of the Knox box. Uh, please coordinate with public safety department fire lane marking requirements. Uh, please refer to IFC 2015 for hydrant requirements to determine if additional private hydrants are required on site. Uh, last from public safety, please coordinate with the public safety department the witnessing of acceptance testing for all fire protection systems, sprinkler, private hydrant, fire alarm, et cetera. Uh, from forestry, uh, preliminary planting schedule submitted with application, species selection is excellent. Uh, submittal indicates that a final landscaping plan will be submitted at a later date. So we will uh, coordinate that with, uh, with Tim over at forestry. And I received uh, no comments uh, from Bike and Pet. Uh, if you have any questions for me, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, otherwise, there uh, are a number of representatives of the applicant online. We also have a uh, represent representative of the applicant from Grafe uh, here in the audience as well. Aaron, the only, the only question that I do have is um, in the parking plan, the 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., uh, the last sentence, uh, residents that have a vehicle and elect to forego a paid parking stall will park on the streets surrounding the property overnight. We do have a, an overnight parking ban from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. from November to March. So I just didn't know if they were aware of that. Yep, they are. Um, okay. I mentioned that to them actually about an hour before the meeting as I read through this a <laughs> little more detail. Uh, okay. So they are aware of that and we're working through that uh, together. Okay, thank you. I figured they were. Aaron, on the uh, stormwater, at eleven thousand three hundred dollars, is that a one-time payment? It is. That's not an annual. Call. No, it's it's per it's a per acre basis. Just to be per, clear on that, per, but it is a one-time buy-in to the pond for stormwater quality purposes. There does need to be some storm stormwater quantity uh, management done on site, similar to phase one. Okay. Your beginning of your uh, speech, you mentioned phase one, phase two. This is phase two. Am I am I correct on that? That's correct. All right. At, on phase two. Uh, which we're reviewing right now, does that kind of go in front of the jumping or the wall climbing, climbing uh, building? Am I looking at that right? Yes, it does. Yep, that's right. correct. So, so that that is in front of it and then it goes around that particular building? Correct. Okay. Um, I, I, I gotta commend the people. I think this is one of the better uh, 
pamphlets of information that we've ever received on all of the architectural things they're doing to that building. We've had some good ones, but this is also another good one that they put together for us so we understand what some of this uh, material is and what it looks like uh, to be put on this building, which makes it a very nice looking building. So I have no problems on what I'm seeing here at all. This has definitely been a very, um, a very good development team to work with. Right, I'd have to agree. It looks very, very nice. Yeah. Better than things on black and white that really are not supposed to be here. They're supposed to be in color so we understand it a little better. Okay. Um, very nice. If I don't hear any more questions, I'll move to approve this presented with staff conditions. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve with staff conditions. Any other comments, questions, concerns? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, everybody, on, on the virtual side of, of life here today. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Appreciate it. <sighs> okay, number seven, department reports. Aaron. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'll admit I was uh, last minute scrambling for this meeting. Uh, in terms of department reports, uh, looking at our year end, uh, permit fees are doing well. Uh, we've been active as you, I'm certainly you're aware. Uh, we do anticipate Crumble Cookie opening up sometime here in the first couple weeks of January. Hmm. Uh, I'll say ish. It's like anyone else, uh, they've been dealing with some supply chain issues. Uh, but uh, I know everyone's eagerly anticipating their opening. Um, Hy-Vee has been open for a little while now. Uh, they've been, looks like, pretty successful, very busy. Um, I was a little concerned about maybe some traffic in the area, uh, but it really hasn't been an issue at all. Uh, and as Gary's prone to mention, if you don't have traffic, you don't have development, so we're in good shape there. Um, so that's what we're at. Okay. Okay, items for next agenda. I'm I should mention that our next meeting in December is canceled. Uh, so we'll have our next meeting in January. And I would anticipate items for next agenda. Yeah. Okay. So I now need a motion to adjourn, please. Second. Motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Thank you. We are done.